Waterproof. We should play Waterproof tomorrow because we haven't played it for a few days. This is a poor imitation of Waterproof. Mm, I know it is. And also as well, I've done another uh, couple of songs which I uh, might debut this week. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. JLS. Really? Yeah, although not not the easiest song to sing. It's very high, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Um, wrote a few songs over the last few days, and they're all fairly high. And I'm mm. kind of sitting there, kind of trying to sing. It's not. It's not a good look. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, that's not too bad. Yeah, but then it gets higher in the chorus. Yeah, it, does, it? it does. So to make to what you do is you you counteract that. So you start lower. Right. Yeah. Damn. The doctor's just finished telling me it's a crime. Which sounds a bit weird, but then when you get to the chorus, you don't sound like a strangled pigeon. Yeah. I've started listening to the words of that song now that you, you highlighted them. Because and I, I listened to it many, many times before and never had any idea what they were singing about. And now? And now, you're right, it does sound like the thoughts of a very desperate person. De- very desperate. <laughs> the question being, how crazy, what crazy thing would you do if you were in love with somebody or you fancied somebody? Yeah, you'd write a song like that. Mm. Is the answer. <laughs> BBC has made some fine television programmes in the past. Only Fools and Horses, Grandstand and the Horse of the Year show. All about Alice. It now makes a show called Hole in the Wall. Dave filmed at the weekend. We will finally find out how it went in three minutes' time. Dominic is in the studio in front of me. Carrie is up at the golf, even though the golf is finished. Let's do news and sports. Digital. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Have we, have we lost Carrie off the OS? Oh. Yeah, what's she on? OS1. 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 Sorry, one. Outside Source 1. Outside Source 1. She wasn't there, now she is. Somebody had cleared my my channel. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, that? she's back on it now. Digital FM. Online. This, this. is BBC Radio 1. It's 933. The government tries to clear up the confusion over swine flu. And Sink denies a golfing legend the Open Championship. 9.37 now. Carrie, it sounds like they're literally unplugging everything they and are. packing it all up around Everything. You. They are. All the screens are being taken down. They're taking away all the computers. They can't wait for you to leave. I know. You're in the way. I am totally in the way. <laughs> Although, bless, the catering staff next door are listening. And uh, they were thinking that the Welsh was brilliant, but they couldn't understand any of it. And uh, they've now put some bacon sarnies on, so I'm going to go and grab Aww. one in a minute. Yeah. That's nice. And they've turned thanks the heating catering. on in here, because it was freezing when I got here at five. But thanks they've turned the heating on Thanks, now. catering people. Mm. Mm. Hello to you. Yeah. They'll have loads of leftover bacon butties now. I know. I think there might be sausage as well. So. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I, I never want to deprive you from a good sausage. Carrie. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the burgers at Dave Fest at the weekend, carry were amazing. Were they really good? They were. Oh. I'll find out what they were then. You, Excellent. I'll... I don't want to advertise. I'll tell you off the air. All right, they yeah. They were very Do. good. I'm Phenomenal. a big fan of a burger. We had a barbecue here on Saturday night for all of us. It was great in the little garden of the house where we were staying. It was really nice. cool, nice. yeah. Nice. No, and one story. other thing, all the blokes here are nutters. Apparently it's a tradition, Sunday morning, they all got up at like eight o'clock and went swimming in the sea. And they were trying to get me to do it, but I figured I only had undies and that would have been inappropriate. Mm. Plus, you're not a bloke. Exactly. You know. Was I'm Gary Lineker butch, doing am it? I, Alad? Uh, of course he wasn't. Was he not? No, oh. no. Do anything, Gary. <laughs> Unless he's getting paid loads of money by a crisp manufacturer, he ain't going in a <laughs> seat, is he? Not a chance. No. <laughs> All right, well, listen, we'll uh, have a safe trip back from Scotland. We'll Thank see you, you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Oh, that's lovely Caddy. Lovely Caddy Davis there. Right then. What happened? Well, as you know... Oh, my goodness. It's Comedy Dave. He takes a right splashing as he falls in there. So, on Friday, during the show, I received a silver outfit which I was to wear to film Hole in the Wall at BBC Scotland in Glasgow, which I did on Friday night. So, who did I do it with? Uh, Tom Cruise? No. Tom Hanks? No. Harold Faltermeyer? (laughs) No. Curtis Stigers? No. Ziggy from Grange Hill? You're getting closer. Oh, really? Mm. He's an old TV star. Well, 
Dale Winton doesn't host the show anymore. Yeah, what's that all about? The hosting role now goes to former team captain Anton Dubeck. Ah. Which, by the way, is is terrible. ITV have got Anton Deck. We've got the BBC Anton Dubeck. It's I, just not the same. He is very him. good and a very nice man as yeah. well. So that was enjoyable. So two teams. Team captains are... On one team, the blue team, Austin Healy. Wow. And on the other team, the red team, Joe Swash. <laughs> right? I bet he's nice, Joe Swash. It, the Joe Swash is great. Well, they both are. Really, really good. So, then the special guests. I was one of the special guests on Joe Swash's team. Oh, you're on Joe Swash's I team? I was on Joe oh, Swash's So you're on the team. red team. I was on the red team. Oh. And joining me on the red team was Anne Diamond. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. <laughs> Who's lovely. And Dan, yeah. how does she look in the outfit? She looks great. Yeah. And so... <laughs> it's really good. He flew over that, did he? Yeah. No, she did look great. Did she look good? Yeah. And and I, don't, I can't give, give away too much, obviously, about the show, because obviously I don't want to sort of ruin the tension. Sure, right? As, absolutely. Which, you don't which, want to October. ruin the viewers for that BAFTA winner. Which, sh- you know, which team wins. Sure. But I can say that this new series has been changed slightly set-wise, and now they have these two slides, which is how each of the <gasps> contestants enter the, the show. Oh, brilliant. Wow. So they come down like water slides. So in fact, the first thing that you'll see of me <laughs> is me coming down a slide with Anne Diamond between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and you've Which never is, said that before. It's something I never thought would happen. Nice. So oh, that was the way, so myself and Anne Diamond then sort of crash onto the, the floor of the studio and then have to pick ourselves up and then go over to, to meet our team captains and say <laughs> hello to uh, to Joe Swash and whatnot. At that point where you were sliding down with that Anne Diamond, was there, yes. at any point did you regret your decision to appear on this said television experience it was one of those moments where I thought this is extremely surreal as I'm dressed in baker foil wearing a red helmet with and diamond between my legs on national TV here in Scotland so who was on um, Austin Healy's team Austin Healy's team was actor John Altman who plays Nasty Nick in EastEnders wow hello Hello, Ma Uh, and so Ma Where's your purse? And Sophie Anderton was also on his team as well. So oh, those, God, the model. So those were... Wow. Those, what was she was, like? That was the lineup. She was fine, actually. Did she even speak to you? Yeah, no, no, she did. Really? She spent a lot of time on her phone. But no. she... But no. <laughs> she was busy. Busy. On the phone. I she no, in real life. No, she was very nice. Was I bet she nice. looks good in the outfit. Yeah, she, was, she was very nice. She looked good in the outfit? She... she Not as good as me, I don't think. Oh, my... Really? Yeah. I, what an what insult to the woman. I think I looked the best. Do you? Really? <laughs> Who looked the worst? I... I th- <laughs> It's difficult to say. Yeah. Difficult to say, but I would say that I... Well, Sophie Anderson put weight on as I is. she fat? No, she's not fat. But she doesn't look as good as you. I would just say, out of all of the contestants, I was probably the, the best. See, what an insult to all the other contestants. It's not an insult. Yes, it is. Obviously, I'm joking. If anybody missed Dave on Friday wearing his silver suit, there is a video at Radio 1 online. Oh, is there? And oh, it's, good. Dave, you just look hilarious. How long does it take to film? It's about three hours. Oh, man. But it was, as I say, it was very, very funny. <laughs> uh, some people do get wet. I can't obviously say who, because obviously if you don't get through the holes correctly, you end up in the water. Sure. Yeah. Did you end up wet? I can't tell you, Rachel. You have to wait till October. I reckon first go, you ended up in the water. Well, you'll have to find out. You did, know, you, did you have to do the double up thing where you... The two of you go together, or yeah. You have, you have to, do, to do you have to do certain ones on your own, and mm. then you have to do uh, other ones with uh, another team member. So it could have been me and Joe, or mm. me and Anne Diamond, um, or it could in fact have been all three of us on certain. Was ones. it blindfold one, or one of them's blindfold, and you got there, to tell them what to do? There could have been. That's my favourite one. Yeah, I left one. a bit. They oh, could I'm have up. been uh, the hear, like no, a dog. hear no <laughs> evil, speak no evil, see no evil. So ah. obviously we're talking blindfolds, ear defenders, right. and also a gag. Right. Uh, wow. And do they have a spe- another special guest on? They used to do that in the other series. No, they? no. Because no, well, obviously the budget has gone on. Mm. Nasty Nick and Diamond. So former model Sophie Anderton and yourself. Absolutely. Hello, Mark. And did you know that uh, as Nas- oh, the, the, funny, the funniest thing is though that all of the all of the the production staff were were great. They were lovely, but. I did find it amusing, obviously spending the day uh, with these various people, so being stood next to uh, John Altman a lot of the time, that everyone that meets him, so all these people with their with their headsets and clipboards and stuff, as is the world of hmm. TV, everybody referred to him as Nick. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone goes, oh, uh, right, uh, Dave, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, and uh, would you like a chocolate biscuit? Uh, uh, Nick, would you like a... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then they'd, they'd sort of pad and struggle and go, oh, John. <laughs> Which is great. But is he all right with that? Yeah, no. He, he must was, be used to that. 
was no. fine. But that tattoo on his neck isn't real. That's obviously put on in his tenders. Really? Wow. He doesn't have that in real life. But it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, so thank you for, for looking after me. I can't wait to see you coming down a slide with that. So it goes diving. out in October. It goes out in October. Hole in the Wall, BBC One in October. Featuring Comedy Dave, Joe Swash, and Diamond, and Nasty Nick from EastEnders. And Austin Healy. Sophie Hennington. I can't wait, Dave. Quality TV. Yeah. It's quarter to ten. By the way, Joe Wiley is back this morning at ten o'clock. Yay! This scene.